Globally, nations are witnessing the impact of climate change. There is already strong evidence of the direct manifestations of climate change in Ghana. In collaboration with our partners, the Geospatial Risk Analysis provided key insights on the energy, water and transport sectors. Within Ghana's energy sector, the main climate risks to service delivery are exposure to drought and flooding that threaten major components of the generation and transmission system. While within the water sector, an increase in drought will reduce river runoff, affecting up to 1.3 million people across the country. Within the transport sector, Key institutional gaps that emerge include inadequate integration of climate risk into feasibility studies and designs. In response to these climate risks, 35 adaptation options have been identified and prioritized based on their ability for addressing the identified risks, the government's prioritized needs, their ability to provide co-benefits cool that contribute to broader sustainable development objectives, including SDG targets, the NDCs, and gender equality outcomes. Some solutions include greening and tree planting around the river bank, construction of a seawall barrier, implementation of specific water harvesting measures to capture rainfall or divert high flows, as part of the sustainability focus by way of scaling up the current work, a training workshop on infrastructure resilience concepts and tools was held in August 2021. The key objective of the training was to equip participants with the relevant knowledge and ability to use their tools to further build on the current work and mainstream resilience in future infrastructure development. The next step is to implement the 35 prioritized climate adaptation and resilience project concepts. So come, let's build a resilient Ghana together.